Welcome back in the kitchen one more time with Chef Okada cooking program guys. Today we want to show you how you can marinate your curry mutton at home. Um, basically I'm going to give you a Jamaican way and another kind of way and a little bit of tips and thing on it. I know you will love the recipe and um, basically please subscribe to the channel, please leave your comments. Um, I get the request and I definitely need to deliver the request guys. So hopefully this will be a benefit to you and some I don't know but guys but I'm telling you it's a nice recipe and you know what I mean I did it before and it do work for me so hopefully when you try it at home it will come out a really nice way for you too guys um, basically if you want me to cook it please write it down be below um, someone request how to marinate it and I definitely want to do that so subscribe to the channel leave your comments and get a copy of my cooking book on Amazon price won't change Christmas present enjoy see you next time bye bye lovely and nice so guys I'm basically gonna explain to you all of my little ingredients which I do have to marinate my curry mutton um, some some people call it curry mutton some people some people call it all kind of different kind of name uh, basically but I'm gonna show you because I get the request um, how to marinate curry mutton um, basically I have some garlic one two three four five six cup of garlic simple cut it up just like this. I'm already removed the shell off of it, so it's very easy to prepare now, guys. Put it straight inside of this bowl right here, which I have some goat meat. And I don't want to simply say to you guys, this is a mutton. And the only thing I want to simply say to you, I wash it off with some lemon juice, or you can use it a white vinegar to wash your meat at home. It's very easy and simple. So as you can see, that's the garlic. This is the white onion. And we love to use a lot of natural seasoning when I'm doing my kind of meat like this, when I'm seasoning my meat. This is half of a white onion. Put it straight inside of it, just like that, guys. Right here, I have some fresh thyme. Simple. Let's get that for a little bit of the fresh thyme. And also put it straight inside of it, just like that. I got some spring onion. And simple. Cut a little bit of the top and also butter and then simple put it just that inside of it lovely and nice a little bit of coarse pepper nice one and also we have a little secret which I'm going to share with you guys please just give it a try I you know most Jamaican don't cook this kind of way but but just a little bit of ketchup not too much ketchup inside of it um, basically I have some season right here look at the season I have this is mild curry powder. You know, you can get the hot one, you can get the spicy one, whatever you want. This right over here is some goat meat seasoning. This is the mutton seasoning. And this one right here is all purpose seasoning. This one is grounded pimento seasoning. And I'm using a large spoon, and a large spoon, and a large spoon, and half tablespoon of seasoning. You can use your kind of seasoning you normally know, use to marinate your meat at home, guys. As I always say in my video, it's good for you to use your season. Because every country do got different kind of season. But the most important season is this one. This one do give it a different flavor, a different taste, and how you marinate it. Inside of my bowl right here, we're gonna simply do pour all of my season just like this inside of it. As you can see, exactly what Chef Ricardo just did. Put all of the seasoning inside of it. And now, one of the main thing we need to do to put out roughly about three tablespoons of vegetable oil or olive oil. That's the key point also. After you do that, next, you can simply put on the gloves and rub up your meat like this. And then you will see exactly what's happening inside of the bowl right here. So you see how it look, then after you do that, marinate up your meat like this guys. Because I'm not gonna use my meat probably as a, until Sunday. So I'm marinating my curry mutton now. And I'm gonna put it down in my freezer until Sunday. I cook it or another day. Alright? Simple. You can get this local bag, this bag at any local shop. This is like some frozen bag. And then what we're gonna simply do is, I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen now, guys. 
go over the buff just so like this. Cross. Put this at the side. Put this at the side. Put this cut by the purple, that's fine. Once it don't burst, everything is fine. Try don't make it burst, guys. But just to get the free of it. Alright? Then next. Put your meat down in the bag like this. Alright? Just like this. Like this. I want you guys to see exactly what I'm doing. Because when you put the oil on it, the oil help it to even to make it so better and even better. To be honest guys, lovely and nice. Remove my gloves. Lovely and nice. Put this at the side. Then next, you can either, before you put it in, you can either write on the date, the time and everything, but you don't need to do that because it's your fridge. That's simple, you can either seal it tight or anything. Put this in straight inside of your freezer and you can take it out wherever you like and use it. So this is the best way guys, this is another tip so you can do for Christmas also. What are the next way? How to get your... This is inside of the board and how to get rid of the curry. Look at this now. Alright. This is the curry ball and all you need to do is just get one of these back up. Where it said bleach. Simple spray some bleach inside of the glass. And I'm just teaching you something guys. The next thing we're teaching you. The bleach do help remove the stain from your ball and your ball will come clean and nice. So guys, when I finish, I'm gonna wash it and show you. This is the meat, put this in the freezer, enjoy the recipe, subscribe to the channel, please leave your comments if you want some more tips and ideas from Chef Ricardo. And I'm gonna wash the board and show you how the stain come from the curry out of the ball. Clean and nice. So when you do this, leave it for about three to four seconds and the stain will go. So guys, as I can see, there's many ways and tips and things which we can do. So as I can see, this is the way it look and you can see it start to clean. So I'm gonna wash it out and show you guys. Nice and lovely. So I just finished washing out my ball, but what will I simply say to you? Look out for the video or when you get curry stain out to remove it. Cause I'm gonna do the video soon. As you can see, all removed clean and nice. The best way how to remove curry from your surface and your board or your board. Enjoy it. See you next time, and this is from Chef Ricardo. Get a copy of my cooking book on Amazon. See you next time. Bye bye.